What is up, my beta bros? Beauty Maniac here with week 13 NFL game picks. And quick review of last week. The only games that our crystal ball did not predict ending the way we thought were Seattle at Carolina. Seattle performed a lot better than I thought they would. And it kind of made me happy because I don't like rooting for Cam Newton. And then you got Jacksonville at Buffalo. Buffalo came out really strong early on, and I think that's what helped them. Jacksonville is playing from behind, and Blake Bortles is, is not good from playing from behind. Also, the ejection of Leonard Fournette, also a big factor in that. The only other game I got wrong was Pittsburgh versus Denver. But if you look at the box score, if Pittsburgh would have got that last second touchdown, maybe it would have been similar to that. But anyway... I think it's absolutely hilarious. Madden had the Chargers and Arizona Cardinals game actually really close to what it was. Week 13. Let's start Thursday Night Football. We have the Saints at the Cowboys. Demarcus Lawrence is challenging the Saints to um, bend him over and spank him, daddy. I'm kidding. It's going to be a... Co this contest is really going to come down to wide receiver ones. And what I mean by that is Michael Thomas versus Amari Cooper. Which defense can stop which one? Which one? Now they both have great running games. With the Saints having Ingram and Kamara, and the Cowboys having Ezekiel Elliott. Advantage goes to the Saints for quarterback play. Overall, defensively, maybe the Cowboys get the edge there. But I, I gotta go on the road. I can't go against Drew Brees. He's having possibly the best quarterback season of all time. Falcons, Ravens. This one's very interesting indeed, Battle of the Birds. I don't know if Joe Flacco's playing or not, or if it's Lamar Jackson again. I don't know if Alex Collins is healthy. With all those doubts, I have to go with Julio Jones and Matt Ryan. They need to sweep the board if they have any chance of making the playoffs. But the Ravens' defense, the Ravens' defense is absolutely dangerous. I am not discrediting them whatsoever. That defense, if the Ravens win, it will be through that defense. And you got the Panthers at the Buccaneers. I'm going Panthers here all the way. They need to win out if they want to make the playoffs. Especially with two games against the Saints. They need to win against everybody else to at least have a chance. Chargers, Steelers, this one's very interesting indeed. Not sure how it's going to work, but I trust the Chargers defense more than I trust the Steelers defense. So I'm going to go Chargers there as much as I don't. And you might see a pattern. I'm picking a lot of road teams. And I, my gut tells me not to, but I am anyway. Bears, Giants, I'm going Bears all the way. No idea if Trubitsky is playing, but the Bears defense is absolutely nasty. And the Giants O-line is nasty for the completely opposite reason. Bills, Dolphins, this one's very interesting. I'm going to go Dolphins here because they're at home. Both these teams are not good. Both of these quarterbacks are inconsistent. Both have... Solid run games with lackluster wide receiving cores. And I say that for the Dolphins because of injuries and stuff like that. I don't know if Amendola is going to be playing at this point. Broncos, Bengals. Got to go Broncos all the way. They're going to, I think they're going to run the table. I don't have confidence in Driscoll. Who knows, he might prove me wrong. He might have a Nick Mullins type coming out party. Rams, Lions going Rams here all the way. Cardinals, Packers. Packers all the way. Browns, Texans, I'm going Texans all the way. There's really not much explanation to those three matchups. I think, well, credit to the Lions. They're having a pretty good season considering a first-year head coach. But I think all these are kind of lopsided. Even though the Packers aren't doing too well, they're facing the Cardinals, one of the worst teams in the league. Browns, Texans, this one's a little bit closer just because of what the Browns have accomplished as of late. But the Texans have eight-game win streak. They're currently riding... And I'm not necessarily riding the hot hand, but I like how the complimentary run game is performing with the Texans. It's about time for that. Colts, Jaguars. This one's very interesting just for the fact that Cody Kessler's starting. So I'm going to go Colts because uh, the Jags are awful. Jets, Titans. I'm going Titans all the way. They need to win almost every game remaining to make the playoffs so with that motivation I think Vrabel goes all ham in Chiefs Raiders going Chiefs Seahawks 49ers going Seahawks Redskins Eagles going Eagles with all the injuries to the Redskins Vikings Patriots 
I'm gonna take a pass on this one. I'm kidding. Um, the biggest weakness for the Patriots is, to, well, at least to me, is their run defense. And this run offense of the Minnesota Vikings recently has been stagnant. So this might be the perfect opportunity for the Vikings to get the run game going. With Stefan Diggs and uh, Adam Thielen on the outside, it's going to be very, very interesting to see how Bill Belichick game plans for that. Considering with Gilmore and McCory, I don't think they have the talent or the speed to cover them one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, Gilmore could possibly take out Thielen one-on-one -on -one with a little bit of help every now and then. But there's no way McCourty can eliminate Diggs whatsoever. They're going to have to double someone. And Rudolph is still dangerous, even though he hasn't been too productive. As for the Patriots, their running offense is taking off. Michelle had pro football focus, the highest graded running back last week. Rob Gronkowski's back and healthy. Tom Brady, of course, at quarterback. Uh, biggest thing for the Patriots against the... Vikings is going to be utilizing the return of Rex Burkhead if he's able to play. If not, you're going to have to start using Michelle more in the pass game so the opposing defense doesn't necessarily key in on the run when Michelle is in there. And I'm not saying because he can't handle it. Obviously, a lot of teams have a receiving back and a power back, and you know when they're going to play what when they go in. But... I think it's more dynamic if you can get the ball to Sony Michelle. So if they start, they started doing that a little bit over the last few weeks when he's been healthy. So if they start doing that a little bit more, I'm gonna be happy. The Patriots are undefeated at home this year. So I'm gonna go New England at home. Gillette's a different, different venue. It's comfort home. No, there's there's a few teams. I'm gonna be honest here. A few teams I would pick at home, probably no matter what. Saints at home, no matter what. Rams at home, no matter what, unless it was against the Saints. Um, probably the Chiefs at home, no matter what. Like if the AFC Championship game was Chiefs versus Patriots, I would probably pick whoever whoever hosted that game. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you are new. We went 12-3 and last week. Hopefully, we can continue with another hot week. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.